The first segment of the journey took us from Tuolumne Meadows to Red's Meadow. Red's Meadow was our first resupply location. The next segment of our trip is to get to Mere Trail Ranch for our second resupply and then race to the South Fork Bridge to see if it's still an option for crossing the river. I'm in the middle. Boots ahead. Cats catching up with us. The trail's real nice here. We gotta, we probably climb, we're gonna have to climb 21, 22, 100 feet. That's not, when it's a gradual incline, it's not bad. That's one of the major differences between the Appalachian Trail and the John Muir Trail. Appalachian Trail, they just hit you with it all at once. Out here, it's gradual. It, so far, it's been. I, I'm sure there are other places where it's steeper. But coming out of Red's Meadow, it's a long, gradual uphill. Lots of mosquitoes around here by the water. Even though the water's running, this is kind of a moist area. Back to Mammoth. Okay. Yeah, we got tired of the um, of the down trees, uh, <laughs> the weather, and bugs. Well, you got the right creatures for all this. Yeah. No, this is great. So. Yeah. They got names. Oh yeah. So we got uh, Sunrise, Amelia, Linda, and Lolo in the back. No, hey, Lolo. Yeah, second as Second as well. Oh. So these are all girls. These are girls. <laughs> are they all yours? They're all mine. We, we oh. see it, man. <laughs> Today's day seven, we finished up, we had a zero yesterday, but uh, today we did about 15 miles. We're at Lake Virginia. Uh, both of us got some really good tent sites. There's boots and good view of the lake. It was a big day, a lot of up and down. Long, one, long, one long up out of reds, but uh, I think when you get a view like this, it's worth it. And we got we, we covered some good miles. We're more than halfway to VBR, which is where we're going. Check in. Two more days. Yeah, we'll check in with you tomorrow. Try to get to VBR today, but we'll probably spend the night uh, just before v the VBR ferry and catch it in the net the, tomorrow morning. Uh, four years ago, we summited Katahdin, and that's pretty cool. You can see, still at the lake. Nice place, Lake Virginia. This was a good campsite, Lake Virginia. Most of the young people that were camping out here near us, uh, they have jobs and they've packed up and they got to get going because this trail takes anywhere from 17, 18 to 23, 24 days for most people. The fastest known times just short of three days and uh that's somebody really just running through here but uh we're, we're trying to let stuff dry out a little bit i had frost on my tent this morning and got a little cool last night but hey that's better than being too hot when you're sleeping so i've got a down 20 degree down comforter and it worked fine silver pass we got a little bit of ice a little bit of slushy snow climbing to get to the top. 
Silver Pass. It doesn't seem like it should be hard, but what do you think, Boot? Pretty hard? Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. We'll make it. I just want to say something else. Four years ago today, about this time, we were probably at the top of Katahdin. That's right. We probably did a big climb that day, too. Yeah. But we'll get there. Now, the story is there's a cyclone coming or hurricane or whatever. Uh, we're going to get into Vermilion Valley Resort. And a guy ahead of us, he might be behind us right now, but Brad said he had uh, a cabin with uh, two extra spots if we wanted to stay with him for a couple of days. We'll see what they got and uh, see how bad the storm is. And we'll just keep charging ahead. Some more cascading water. It's just uh, beautiful and lots of it. We see these all the time. That water's melt. Can be slick out here. That water's melting off those, uh, off that snow, and just keeps coming down the mountain. We wanted to get a little bit further, but the clouds are rolling in, so we got to throw. We got to pitch a tent real quick, and uh, I don't know. Could be a. It could pass over. It could be a bad one. We'll see. The rains got us. The rains are coming. Well, they're here, so we just gotta wait and see how long. Boot went to get some water. I hope he's about done. But we got our tent set up in time. Now we just gotta wait and see how long it lasts. I might not, I might just stay in my tent and go to sleep. It's about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Ah, I'm tired. Good morning, day number nine. We didn't get pelted with rain, just a little bit of rain. You don't know what you're gonna get in the, uh, in the mountains. Uh, I will say this, the JMT, the John Muir Trail, even in August, it's cold. If you're from the south, it's cold. I don't know. But at least I'm not sweating too much. Going into VVR today, it's going to be good. First stream crossing of the day. If you don't hit the rocks, you're probably about knee high to try to walk on the rocks. Be the fawn. From Hat, Mississippi, all the way to Tupelo. I called an eastbound freight train. Sky high hopes and open eyes go. Just what they're gonna get. 
get out of you. And that's the way they do. Papa John, day 11. Got a zero at uh, Vermilion Valley Resort yesterday. It rained all day. Hurricane came through. Yeah, you know, it was just rainy and cold. So we stayed warm and took a zero, ate some food. We're ready to go. Trying to make it to Mere Trail Ranch in two days. We'll see. This is one of our fellow hikers, Brad, from uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, I was going to ask you where you're from, but uh, I guess you're from Salt Lake City. But you were from where before right. that? I grew up in New Jersey, lived in D.C., lived in San Francisco, and now in Salt Lake City. Running from the law. <laughs> and why are you doing this? Um, just wanted to get out here. I, I spent a lot of time in the Sierra, so I wanted to get back out here and do the full, well, the full. 90% of the JMT. How often do you hike? Um, pretty much all summer, and then get pretty lazy in the winter. <laughs> uh, don't blame you. Yep. All right, he's hiking with us for a little bit. He's faster than us, so he'll lead the way. All right, you guys ready, more or less? Almost. All right. Coming up on Bear Creek here. That's a lot of water moving. Woo! It's even deep over the waterfall. My, that's strong. All right, Brad, we got a couple of questions for you. I understand you're a football fan. Yeah. yeah. How'd you like sleeping with two men last night in your in your room? Uh, Is that okay? Great a lot of snoring and other Long noises. Snoring, yeah. <laughs> okay, what's your football prognostication? Uh, Penn State National Championship. Penn State National Championship. Okay. Who are they going to – any idea who they'll play in the uh, National Championship game? Uh, I'm thinking Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Okay, the there world, you have it. The world the tide. That's some fast moving water. Coming up on Marie Lake and Selden Pass. I see Marie Lake through there. Here's our water crossing. Um, Bear Creek. Bear Creek. We'll see how it goes. Cold rainy night. Yeah, you just don't want stuff to get wet out here. I think we have uh, 10 good days of uh, forecast hopefully they're right but cold and rainy last night put in a lot of miles we're going to put in a lot of miles today to try to get to that south fork bridge and we'll see what happens hopefully they haven't blown it up yet i did hit it i think i heard an explosion last night <laughs> we're about to get going boots all ready uh, we lost a little time due to the rain, but we dried everything out and we're headed southbound. MTR, next stop. That's how you can get still wet. Are you video? Yeah. There's two Sally Lakes. We slept at the uh, northern one. This is the southern one. Nice clean water. Beautiful skies. Maybe taking these pictures will help. Uh, yeah. Dry out the camera. JMT. These cedars, sometimes they are, and, and this isn't the biggest one I've ever seen, but it's a big one. Ooh, coming into MTR, we get our, get our food packages. I'm so sick of hiker food. A lot of people love that you can eat whatever you want on the trail, but uh, you got to have dehydrated foods and stuff, and I just get tired of it. My wife's a better cook than uh, Mountain House. All right, this is Mir Mere Trail Ranch. We picked up our resupply. We got about nine days worth of food and about 100 miles to go, 110 miles to go, something like that. 
there's boot packs are heavy all we can do is walk and eat the heaviest eat the heavy food first that's what we do see ya uh, we didn't exactly get good news at MTR they say uh, they're gonna go blow up that South Fork San Joaquin River Bridge on Thursday I think today's Tuesday and they said nobody can cross I, I don't know uh, not sure how we're gonna cross that thing yeah we'll just keep going and see what happens this is the first bridge thankfully it's still up you can see why they have to have a bridge here freaking water is crazy and landlords at war can't afford the rent no more the days of the glitter mice in Tompkins Square are gone short on plants long on luck pull on your boot hard enough and little yeah, we got to cross that. <laughs> well, the lady at MTR gave us bad info. She said the wood was taken off. There's nothing left but flimsy steel I-beams. Flimsy I-beams? That's news to me. But you can see the bridge. Quite damaged. But it's our only option. The, the, the alternate route is probably more dangerous trying to get out of the canyon and go off trail for about 20 miles. Here we go. The most exciting two minutes on the JMT right there. He made it. In the turquoise skies of New Mexico my ship I spot a dusty town below The people of the town that gathered round the stair As my ship touched down in the central square I walked into a bar with an old guitar Ordered the tequila and a big cigar In a mystical moment, groove took over the room Just then the preacher's wife walked in and said Turn up the volume Well, 
uh, we made it over the bridge. Very exciting. Uh, I know some people are going to look at that and think that was crazy, but I'm telling you, the alternate route I don't think was any safer. Up and over a canyon, uh, off the trail for who knows, 10 to 20 miles. People get lost out here. Those canyons are very steep. Uh, they're probably going to blow that thing up tomorrow, so I'm glad we got across. Check in with you later. Well, I became a warrior when I was in Baltimore. My best friend was a junkie and a hoe. We never learned the difference between wrong 